All right, so for this part, we're going to go ahead and work on the configurations page or the category page, I should really say. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do, though, is we'll actually set up the navigation bar first. That should be pretty simple. So what we're going to do for that is we're actually going to go ahead and set up another route right over here. And I got this from the React Router version 6 documentation. What we can do is we can actually set up a path to have specific we can set up a specific path to have the navigation bar rendered so let's say for example if i want the navigation bar to be rendered for categories we can go ahead and do that okay now we don't have a nav bar component i, I should stop calling it a nav bar because there's really no navigation i should really call it an app bar okay so let me go ahead and close all this i'll go ahead and create a app bar component Okay, and literally this app bar, it's just going to be a simple, uh, it's just going to be a simple um, app bar, really. Let me go ahead and create a styled component for this. So, app bar style. So, this will, I'll make this a nav. I kind of want to make it a header instead. It's not really a nav bar. Um, I think I'll just call it a header. And what I'll do is uh, I'm going to give it a, I, I actually don't want to give it a height though. I do want to give it a display of flex, align items, center, and then padding, we will do padding instead. So top and bottom, I would say 25 pixels. I think left and right can also be 25 pixels as well. And it will also add some border box for the box sizing. So let's see how this looks. Oh, and the background color should be, should be the same. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so instead of, uh, so what I can do inside app bar, we can go ahead and just return app bar style. And then we're going to go ahead and have two elements in here. We're going to have um, a text that says configuring and then the server name. And we can have these sort of icons. So uh, I think maybe what we could do is we could probably have a paragraph tag, configuring, and then server name, which we will add that later. And then the image source which for now, I will go ahead and just, uh, let's see, add the, well, I'll just add nestjs.png for now. And the size will do 45, or actually not size, height, 45 with 45 and then border radius, 50%. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, we also do add an alt. Okay, now we can go ahead and pass that bar in and let's see what it looks like so right now we have it for the categories page so if i click on one of these you can see that uh something's wrong with the something seems like something's wrong with the app bar or the image rather so what's going on uh assets nestjs png oh yeah i keep forgetting we can't do that we cannot just pass in the path we actually have to import it import nestjs icon from there we go that should work there we go there you go so we have the logo also just letting you letting you all know it is new year's eve so if you do hear fireworks outside uh just letting everyone know ahead of time but anyway so uh yeah seems like that's good uh let me do one thing real quick with app bar style let me add a background color so that way I can see this. Okay, great. Uh, we do need to add one more thing, which is a border on the bottom, which is what we have in the UI. So I will go ahead and add that. I have the color right over here. Let's go into the code. So we'll do, let's see, border. Uh, it's I don't know why styled components is not working for this. Like the plugin is not working for some reason. Border. Uh, let's see, we want a border. So what we'll do is we'll simply just do border bottom one px solid, and we should see that. Uh, can't really see it. Let me move that. There we go. We can see it there, and then we'll just go ahead and give it a lighter opacity. Or we'll change the opacity. There we go. That, I think that's better. Um, we do want to change the. I do want to change the. Uh, I do want to change the uh, the font size. Uh, I'm actually going to make this an H1 tag instead. Figuring. 
actually yeah that's way too big uh let me add some style font weight we'll do i think that's good font size 28 pixels no maybe 24 or 20. yeah we'll do 20 pixels uh okay that's great uh, and then we're going to go ahead, for some reason it's not, why is it display, oh, justify content. Space between. There we go. Uh, the, the, the logo could be a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of the, I'm going to decrease the padding on the top and bottom just a little bit. Let's try 15 pixels. Uh, and then left and right will be 35 pixels. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, cool. So this on the top will say configuring and then the name. So for now we're going, so what we're going to do is we're going to need to go ahead and consume the context. I'm not sure if we can actually, yeah, we can, uh, because the app bar is inside, is wrapped inside the provider. So we should be able to consume the context just fine. So I can go ahead and get the let's see seems like i'm only able to get the guild id which is not good because remember the only way that we're going to get to the categories page is if a if is if the context has something select if, if the context has the guild id um i mean it's fine because what we could do and we'll do this later what we can do later is we can update the context so that way it can actually have the actual guild name and anything else that we might need, like the guild icon. Otherwise, we can easily just actually, we can actually just fetch the API for this, but I don't think that's really necessary. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave, we'll actually get rid of this for now. Didn't really realize that. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much how this should look. Now, what happens if I go to a different page? Let's say if I go to menu, you're going to see it's not there. However, if I go to, let's say if I go to guild update prefix, you're going to see that update prefix does not have the navigation bar which is not good because how do i know which guild i'm updating or which guild i'm configuring the bot for and that's why we want the navigation bar to be uh, available for certain routes now the problem here is that if i want to add it to the guild prefix page i'm going to need to go ahead and repeat this step but just change the path and then that would work so if i go ahead and do that you're going to see that i now have the navigation bar However, the problem here is we're going to have to manually write in all the routes. So what we could do, and I think this is going to be a lot easier, is I'm going to go ahead and actually just prefix all the routes with the dashboard instead. I think that's just the easiest thing to do. And then we can just set up a wildcard for the path, and that would pretty much solve all of our problems. So instead, what I could do is I can go ahead and get rid of this, and so I just do slash dashboard asterisk. And every single route that is prefixed with dashboard should have should have this. So if we go to menu, okay. So let's go to slash dashboard slash. Uh, let's see categories. Let's see. So we are on the category page. Let me actually remove that asterisk. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Let's try guild update prefix. There we go. We can see navigation bar there as well and if i go to guild update message there we go honestly i think i'm just going to remove guild instead i don't really like i, I want to keep the uh i want to keep the uh the routes clean and i'm actually just going to remove update and i'm going to make it prefix same thing with message okay um cool cool i think this is good i think this is uh good for now okay uh, a couple things I will have to implement later is if the user tries to visit these routes directly without selecting something from the menu, it should redirect them. Uh, so for example, oh, I also have to update the menu page as well. So we have to have it go to slash dashboard slash categories. So let's try it again. There we go. I also have to update this, uh, update the logic. So if we visit these routes directly without clicking something from the menu, then it should just redirect them to the menu. So basically we just have to check to see uh, if the context, if the guild ID or the guild object is is not null, because if it's null, that means they have not selected anything. So we'll just redirect them. We'll worry about that later. Now that we've got the navigation, uh, navigation stuff set up, let's go ahead and 
get to the actual category page where we want to display the UI for the configurations.